morning students so um just want to talk about some of the things that you need to know for the diagnostic test tomorrow for algebra 2 trig honors again so the test is based on the study packet that we've been going through for these two dates so here are some of the concepts that you guys need to be familiar with so the first one it's about writing the equation of a lines and also those type of structure the form so we do have the slope intercept form Make sure that you know how to apply the slope intercept form. The value of B is always the y intercept. And the value of M, which is the slope. And also, make sure that you know how to find the slope. Either you can just count it by rise over run, delta Y over delta X. Or you can use the slope formula, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And also, make sure that you know how to write the equation of a line. Okay, so things that we have, such as y minus y1, so that equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. Okay, another thing that you need to know, it's about solving quadratic equation. So based on the fact, things that you learned from Algebra 1 and things that you did in Geometry, so solving equations, quadratics, so make sure that you need to recognize the structure, ax squared plus bx plus c, so equals y. So once you set that equal to zero, so you can use either by uh, the factoring strategy, if this one is factorable. So once you factor it, you'll be able to factor into like the group of parentheses, and then you just solve for x. And now the strategy, it's about using the quadratic formula. So the formula for that, it's always negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right. And then once you plug in a number, so the rest of the step here, it's about following through the, the root of PEMDAS or GEMDAS. So parentheses, G stands for grouping. Besides parentheses, we do have brackets, braces, okay? And then the rest of that, exponent, multiplications, division, addition, subtraction. Okay, so now let's see what else that you need to know. Okay, so radical. So make sure that you know to simplify radical expression. So just the basic one, the one with the number. So let's say that we do have root 3 times root 5 minus root 7 so make sure that you be able to distribute so the structure to multiply the radical it's always like this so let's say we do have a root b times c root d excuse me so that one's supposed to be d right here so the way to multiply the radical is always the number outside the radicals you always want to multiply those number first and then the number inside the radical, B and D. Okay? And also make sure that you'll be able to simplify the quotient. So let's say we do have root 15 over root uh, 45, something like that. So make sure that you'll be able to finish the radical, simplifying the radical top and the bottom. Okay, so now let's see what else that you need to know. Okay, so besides radicals, linear equations, and also quadratic, uh, make sure that you know the graph. Linear system inequality. Okay, so make sure that if you do have the form like y is less than mx plus b, and the other one is y, it's greater than another slope. Okay, let's say m1x plus b1. The other one is m2x plus b2. So make sure that you'll be able to sketch those two graphs. There's no equal sign involved. That means it's always a dotted line. With the equal sign, it's always a solid line. So let's say we do a graph like this. So one is down below, the other one is above. So that means you want to shave off this region. Okay, so something like that. And now let's see what else that you need to know. A uh, linear system equation. So 
So linear system equation, we do have things like 5x minus 2y equals 7. And the other one, it's um, 10x plus 4y equals 8. So make sure that you'll be able to solve for this one by, use, by using either substitution or elimination. Okay, so let's see, things that you need to know. Uh, word problem, word problem that's based on the facts of the linear system equation and also linear inequality. So make sure that you'll be able to interpret that the meaning. So we see anything like y equals mx plus b. So this one's always giving you the initial value. And this one here, it shows the rate of change. All right. And let's see what else that you need to know. So basically, that's pretty much about it. Okay, so going back. Making sure that I'm not forgetting anything here. Oh, exponents. Properties of exponent. Okay, so let me just open up the new slide for this one here. So those seven properties. So we do have the first one, which is consider Product to sum. Okay, so you see the same base right here, A, A. So with the different powers, so that means you want to combine them. Quotient. Quotient to difference. Again, same base, but it's a division. So that means you want to subtract the exponent. Power of another power. So that means you multiply the exponent. And then zero exponent. So that means it's always one. And then negative exponent, so that means it's a reciprocal form. And then product of power distribution, so like A times B to the power of M, so that means you want to distribute the power. And then quotient distribution with power distribution, so it's A to the power of M over B to the power of M. And again, where B to the power of M cannot be zero, because that would be zero, then that this one would be considered undefined. Okay, so let's see. And also make sure that you'll be able to simplify ration, uh, rational expression, the basic rational expression. So let's say we do have things like x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x plus 2. So make sure that you'll be able to simplify this. So the strategy for doing that first thing that you want to do is always factoring and then the second step is always about reducing if you find out any common factors top and the bottom so like this one here is just like x plus 2 x plus 2 so divided by x plus 2 so that means you can just cross them out okay so again this one is just a random example and also you'll be able to find out the excluded value So exclude the value, so that means the denominator, as what I mentioned before, the denominator cannot be zero because the whole thing would be considered undefined. So once you set the denominator equal to zero, so you find a restricted value, which is considered negative two. So this one is called the exclude the value. Okay. And let's see things that you need to know. Again, so the packet, so make sure that you finish the whole packet tonight. So the Algebra 1 study packet. So make sure that you finish all those problems. Uh, except the one that we took out today. So because some of those stuff, they're like Algebra 2 stuff. So we don't need to worry about that yet. So once we get into those chapter, we'll get into more in-depth detail regarding simplifying the conjugates, you know, all those type of stuff. Rational exponent. Mm-hmm. So this one, it's due on Friday by noon. 
All right, so any questions that you have, so feel free to um, go to my YouTube channel. So hopefully I can set up the live YouTube video later today for the tutorial. So if any questions and concerns that you have regarding the diagnostic test tomorrow. All right, so study hard and, you know, try to do your best. So I'll see you guys later or tomorrow. So you guys take care.